Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing a DIY hair mask. This is, oh, I have the worst hiccups ever. This hair mask is gonna be great for anybody dealing with a dry, itchy scalp, dandruff, or even psoriasis. And that's doing an apple cider vinegar wash with your hair. So all you need is water and apple cider vinegar. Now the reason I wanted to do this um, apple cider vinegar wash is because number one, I do have dandruff and like, I don't know if you can see any right now, but like it just starts snowing from the top of my scalp and it's gross. I never noticed that I had dandruff until I shaved my head. That's when I noticed the dandruff and even now that my hair is long again, I still have the dandruff. But I don't ever remember having dandruff before in my life, so that's kind of a new thing. I wanna do this for that reason, but also this is a little bit weird and different and something I'm experiencing for the first time, but I've always been the type to go a handful of days before washing my hair. So sometimes I'll go like three days up to a whole week without washing my hair. And I've just always done my hair routine that way and it's just always worked for me because my scalp has just always been naturally dry. But lately I've been noticing my hair producing more oil than normal lately. And it's gotten to the point where number one, I can't go several days without washing my hair. I need to wash my hair every day or every other day. Because I notice not only does my hair get really oily, but I get like this sort of like rash thing. I get these little bumps on the back of my head and they like hurt, they itch and they hurt and they burn, but it could possibly be psoriasis, I don't know. And then I talked to my sister and she was experiencing the same thing. She said, yeah, during this quarantine, she's noticed like her hair has just gotten like extra oily and she's just been like kind of developing like this rash underneath and like she ha has to wash her hair every day. I read online that apple cider vinegar is a great natural home remedy that you can use to help treat psoriasis and dry itchy scalp. So that's what we're going to try out today. So let's just go ahead and jump on into it. So I have a little spray bottle here. I'm going to put our mixture in there and then spray it on, on my scalp. I just feel like that's probably the easiest way to go about doing this. So you want to use half cup of water and then two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And I made a little funnel with some foil so we can put that right on in there. Here is the half cup of water. Ooh. Watch me spill this all over my pants right now. Oh. oh, I only spilled a little. Okay, that actually worked. And now I tablespoon measurement and my apple cider vinegar. Ooh. that in. Okay, one more to go. And pour that in. This funnel worked out perfectly. There we go. So we have our mixture in there and I'm just going to put the cap back on. Shake this up a little bit. So I've read that you want to leave this in your hair and let it dry before you actually like go shower and like rinse it off and everything. And then I'll shower up and rinse it out. And I'll use like shampoo and everything like that. Look at this Medusa hair, oh my gosh. Okay, so I definitely wanna concentrate like on this back part for sure. So I want that to be the first area that I spray. Just really massaging it, concentrating this on my scalp. I mean, yeah, we'll get the ends, but like that's not really the main concern. It's the scalp that we want to get. So just really massaging this in there. Yeah, I feel like using a spray bottle is probably the easiest way to go about doing this. So it doesn't burn or anything. I read that if you don't dilute the apple cider vinegar, it can burn. And definitely don't do this if um, you have any like open open wounds or cuts, because um, then it really will burn. And it's recommended to do this about like once a week. So if you have like a really bad irritation, um, definitely be proactive about doing this every week. From what I've read about apple cider vinegar is great for healing any like rashes or irritation because it has like some type of antibacterial properties where 
it like kills off the bacteria or it kills off like irritation or fungus or whatever it may be so that amount was more than enough to saturate our entire hair so we are going to let this soak into our hair and soak into our scalp uh, I'm gonna try and let it dry as much as possible before I jump into the shower so I'll let this dry and I'll check in with you guys before I go rinse it out. One hour later. So it's been about an hour now. My hair is not completely dry. I would say like around my scalp, it soaked up pretty nicely. Um, my ends are still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this all out and hopefully my hair doesn't smell like apple cider vinegar when I'm done because this is stanky. A few minutes later. So I just got out of the shower. My hair is nice and clean. And no, it does not smell like apple cider vinegar. Thank goodness because, yeah, that was a bad smell. But it's nice and clean. And my hair feels so refreshed. And it just felt like using that apple cider vinegar really just helped um, give my hair a good, like, clarifying type of wash. Like, it was just very cleansing so my scalp feels so refreshed and obviously when your hair is wet you can't really see dandruff um so like i can't like show you guys right now but i'm going to continue with this um apple cider vinegar hair wash i'll do it probably once a week so i'll keep you guys posted on what i think and how it is working with my scalp and my boyfriend johnny just bought a new shampoo and it has tea tree oil in it which is also amazing for dry itchy scalp and dandruff and um, psoriasis any kind of irritation because tea tree oil is antibacterial and it is antifungal as well so it's going to help any sort of rashes or irritations whenever I get anything like doesn't matter where on my body if there's some sort of flare-up or irritation of some kind even pimples fall into that category I will use tea tree oil that is like my ride or die I love tea tree oil it's amazing and so I'm super stoked that it's in my shampoo so it's just like a little bonus along with the apple cider vinegar hair rinse so um, I hope you guys give this a try if you are um, suffering with dry, itchy scalp or dandruff. Um, if you guys have your own like go-to hair mask, hair rinse remedies for dandruff or dry scalp or psoriasis, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll try them out. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any requests for any upcoming hair videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! with <laughs> itchy scalp <sighs> scalp <laughs> with your hair so I'll <laughs> start to damp drop <laughs> that way oil normal <laughs> my god these hiccups normal <laughs> here <laughs> home rep <laughs> apples <laughs> these hiccups are driving me mad <laughs> 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 Sorry for my hiccups. I love